do a date day at least once a week but if not we do make sure we do what twice a month yeah we make sure we do it twice a month our goal is once a week but sometimes stuff come up with the kids and just stuff in general or other commitments yeah because you got so many organizations that he involved with so many organizations that they got lack of schedules and stuff that happen too so at least we try to make sure we do it twice a month <clears throat> but our goal is every week so we are on the road in the rain headed to drum roll <laughs> <laughs> North Carolina to the Mayflower Rusty Food Restaurant. Comment below if y'all been to the Mayflower. We've been there but maybe twice or three yeah, times. Twice, I think. Maybe three times. No, I think three times. I think we went twice we went ourselves. The and then we took the girls. Yeah. So this is gonna be our fourth time going to the Mayflower in Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina. It's about an hour, a little bit over an hour drive from where we live at. So we're going to be rolling along in the rain on this journey to the Mayflower restaurant. But the good thing about it is, during this time, this long ride, we got time to communicate with each other. <laughs> so we can just talk about stuff, you know, that's on our mind to help keep our relationship strong. Because sometimes relationships, you get caught up with your kids and everything that's going on, but you kind of lose yourselves. So we try to find time to just communicate, you know, with each other. So that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to communicate as we travel on this road. See what's good with him and what's good with me and what's good that we can do together. <laughs> and all this kind of good stuff like that. So we just want you guys to just tag along with us on our date day. I'm going to throw this date day in with another video. Just to make my um, my last video that I made. Well, no, that one was kind of long. So I'm going to put up another video too. A King's Dominion video. But I think that video is probably long enough by itself. So either I might make, make, make this date day its own video. Or I might tag it in with something else. I don't know. we just see how the date goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have made it to Emporium so far. And guess what? The rain has stopped. The sun isn't shining, but the rain has stopped. It's still kind of cloudy out. But what the song said, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. <laughs> I keep my day job, y'all already know. So don't worry about it. That's the, that's not going to be a career. <laughs> but um, anyway, it, it, it's better out here now though, because I, I like traveling, you know, when it's clear and not really in the rain. But the rain has stopped and it's cloudy, but it's dry. No water falling. So we have made it to Emporium. So um, our navigator says we have 39 more minutes to go. We should arrive about 445. That's what the navigation is saying. And my Apple Watch is telling me that I got a friend request, y'all, on Facebook. But well, y'all know what kills me about those Facebook friend requests? They be sending you requests of people you're already friends with. Like you don't know who your friends are. I mean, those scammers, they need to stop. Those hackers, they need to stop. So I mean, like you already know who you're friends with. Y'all know what I do, though? Sometimes I accept it. And then when they send me that little message on the, um, in the message, they go, hey, how you doing? Have you heard the good news? In one you know, mile, take a when they send me that, I started playing with them. Once North I Carolina. told them, I said, yes, I heard the good news. I already got the government grant, and I left you a million dollars on the coffee table. Didn't you see it? You know, <laughs> I just be playing with them because they be tripping. And then one time they told me, how you doing? I said, I'm doing real good. I said, why are you asking me how I'm doing? You right here in the back seat of the car. <laughs> I just be messing with them, you know. And then sometimes they'll just stop and don't say anything. You know, then they'll come back again and say, you heard the good news. You know, one, one of them I told them, I said, I heard the good news. I done bought, what, three Mercedes, a boat, a house, and something else. You know, I just I just start having fun with them. And then when I get tired or they get tired, whoever get tired first, then we stop and then I delete them. 
<laughs> but you know, I just get get tired of them. I mean, I don't know what the purpose is, you know, with them doing that. I mean, I know they they'll make you think you're talking to your friend, and maybe you send them money, or if you go on that government website, maybe that website is does something if you go on or something. I don't Use really right know what they're getting right out of it. But South, on a Rocky good day, I play with them. On a bad day, I just don't accept it. <laughs> I don't know. But I just got a friend request and I'm already friends with the person. Turn. So I don't know why they, um, you know, won't want to play with me like that. So anyway, we are now passing by the Five Guys in Emporia. Y'all Five Guys out of place too. We love them burgers and fries. Five guys, burgers and fries. <laughs> but it's not a burger and fry day today. Today it is a seafood day. And we're going to the Mayflower, like I said earlier. But today is a seafood day. It's date In day miles, take with seafood. On to US. Now exactly what I'm gonna get, I don't know. Usually when I go, I pretty much get the same thing. But I might try to switch it up a little bit. I don't know. I got to look at the menu and see what they got. But y'all know I love my seafood. Y'all know I love making seafood boils. Y'all know I love my crab cakes. I love my fish. Um, crabs. Shrimp. Scallops. Clams. Lobsters. What is that missing this thing? The seafood that, that we mm -hmm. eat. You about got it all. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's what we eat most of the time. So... But I don't know what we're going to get today. It may be the same thing or I might try something different. But more likely it's going to be the same thing. Because <laughs> I know y'all, when we go to Texas Roadhouse, I don't even have to even look at the menu. Because I only get one thing from Texas Roadhouse and I get the same thing every single time. Now when we took Jalen for her birthday in the previous video, we took her for her birthday. And I always get the sirloin tips. With the onions and gravy, no mushrooms. I get the rice, seasoned rice and the baked sweet potato. That's what I get every time. We were there for Jalen's birthday on Wednesday. It was Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday. On Wednesday, we were there for Jalen's birthday because we had took her. We saw in the previous video, we had took her to the IHOP. She wanted to go to IHOP, but IHOP um, was closed up. The um, dining room was closed up. So we ended up going to Texas Row House. So we got there and I asked for my same old, same old, what I always get. But this time I didn't want the, the um, sweet potato because sometimes when they put the stuff on the sweet potato, they put too much brown sugar up there. It was just too sweet, totally too sweet. But I forgot even about thinking about asking for it on the side. But this time I went there, I asked for double rice because I won't go even bother with the sweet potato, just do the tips and the rice. And know they're going to come out back and tell me. I'm sorry, ma'am, but we're out of rice. <laughs> I'm like, really? No rice? So I then I opted back for the sweet potato and I got the um, uh, sweet potatoes and the green beans. Yeah, sweet potatoes and green beans. And they brought my food. They brought me the sweet potato and the tips, but they never got my green beans. So when she finally came back around, I said, I had asked for green beans, but I said, nah, I changed my mind. Give me the macaroni and cheese, right? So I was thinking that their macaroni and cheese was going to be like the, um, what's the other place we go to? Cracker Barrel macar macaroni and cheese. But I was mistaken. Their macaroni and cheese was just like that Kraft macaroni and cheese in the box. I ain't talking about the Kraft Deluxe one with the fat noodles. I'm talking about the, the skinny box of Kraft with the little thin noodles. <laughs> yeah, so the mac and cheese was just like that. Now it's like, I tasted it, I was like, okay, I'm tasting Kraft straight out out the box. Not the Kraft Deluxe, then the Kraft Deluxe with the fat noodles, now, that's the bomb diggity. I like that one. But the skinny noodle one, nah, I don't, I don't really care for that. So I said, Jay baby, um, you want some mac and cheese? So I passed it to her. So anyway, so anyway, but anyway, like I was saying, whenever I go to Texas Real House, I get the same old, same old. Don't switch it up or anything. Just the same old, same old. I think everybody else switch it up some. Not me. You don't, I, you don't switch it up? I get the same one, the same steak and shrimp. You get the same thing, the steak and shrimp then. So, 
But one time you did switch it up and got my tips. Yeah, I got tips one time. Yeah, you switched it up and got my tips. With me. But that's basically every restaurant I go to, I get steak. I don't know. Yeah. He, he's a steak guy. But with me, solid tips. Country tips. Every single time. I ain't got to look at the menu. With the water. I don't have to look at the menu. I get it every single time. But down here at the um, Mayflower, I think I did switch it up. Because one time I got the big shrimp, and then one time I got the baby shrimp. They get so many baby shrimp, y'all. Woof. Um, had the baby shrimp, and one time I got the big shrimp. So this time, I don't know. I know Hubby got the clams one time down there. Room, you yeah. got the clams, and then you got the big shrimp. Did you ever get the baby shrimp? No, I'm just, I ain't gonna get the baby shrimp. You don't get the baby shrimp. The big shrimp. The big shrimp. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna get this time. I don't know how to think about it. But I know I like their um their hush puppies that made like onion rings. Yeah. Cause I thought I was like, I'm like, wait, bring that's a big thing, onion rings. And I didn't know that they were actually the hush puppies. The hush puppies made like onion rings. Shape wise. So um yeah. But anyway, I, I don't know. I looked at the menu, couldn't figure out what I wanted. So hopefully I can make up my mind once we get there. And I'm I'm happy that the traffic isn't really bad either while we're traveling. The traffic's not bad. Well, there's a little traffic here, but I'm good. Yeah, that's good. Don't speak too fast though, because it looks like it looks like <laughs> Yeah, I spoke too soon. I see a lot of red brake lights and like we're gonna slow up again. It is. It is. Yeah, see it on the map. So. Oh yeah, on our navigator we can see a red zone. It's telling us that um, it's a um, slow down of traffic jam. But it doesn't say accident, so maybe it's just a traffic jam. Sometimes it'll tell us it's an accident ahead, but it's not doing it right now. But today is date day. Tomorrow after church will be date day too. Oh yeah, and tomorrow after church, it's gonna be date day. So we're gonna have two dates back to back. Because the J baby has to go to work. Tamara is out of town. So after church, it's just going to be us again alone. So we're going to go to King's Dominion. We have season passes, y'all. So that's why we can go to King's Dominion. Then we have the um the food pass, too. So it's a wristband, the food pass. So we got the season pass and the food pass. So once we go, all we got to do is just pay for gas to get there. We don't have to pay for anything else because we got on the season pass. It's the parking pass is on the season pass, food pass on the season pass. So all we got to do is just make time to go, gas to get up there. But it's paid for us to get in there and it's paid for us to eat while we're there. As y'all saw in the other video, and I don't think I, I haven't posted that video up yet. Okay, well, when I post the video, you're gonna see that the first, first time that we went back there was for Tamara's birthday, and it happened to be the day that they decided to stop the reservations. So it's the first weekend that they stopped the reservation, and know what got, they wasn't ready. You know, like, who was somebody say, oh, who was it on Kevin Hart to say, she wasn't ready, well, they wasn't ready, because it was so packed, and they had limited staff, they had limited restaurants open, and limited staff working, so, you had to wait 45 minutes or more to try to get some food. Most restaurants were shutting down early because I guess they went through their food supply or they were so tired that they couldn't keep up with the demand. They even had security guards at the doors telling you, turning people back. So you can't go in there because they're gonna shut, shut down. So we had season passes and we couldn't even eat. So you, I went to the desk and they were nice at the desk. They refunded me all, what, four? of my um, food passes they did um and they even gave us two free food passes for when we come back again which we're going to be using those tomorrow we're going to be using those food passes on tomorrow but um they were really nice about it but a lot of people did get their money back because they wasn't ready and you couldn't eat and then my favorite little chicken shack that's there that's always had good delicious fried chicken i mean bum diggity fried chicken 
but they were in a rush so much they were like pulling the chicken up before it was ready you bite into the chicken is all bloody and stuff in it so that they, they, they just wasn't ready for the crowd that they got when they canceled those reservations so hopefully when we go back now they done learn from their mistakes and they got more staff more restaurants open so it could be a better flow and people can actually eat because i mean we had to actually leave there and go and find food to eat but normally you know we just eat there but i do remember back in the day before we um arrived <laughs> as you want to say before we arrived to start getting season passes and food passes for there um we used to um always pack a lunch we used to pack get fried chicken uh and sandwiches and biscuits we'll make biscuits like you know the canned biscuits cut them up and put the sausage and bacon and eggs and stuff in it for our breakfast for the trip up there and um then we'll have fried chicken we bought from the restaurant and take that up there and then go to the um go outside the park sit at the little tables and eat our cold fried chicken well y'all that cold fried chicken was the bomb digging <laughs> i don't know what it is about cold chicken a lot of hot chicken but that cold chicken with, with that um white bread as they say or the loaf bread it was it was hitting the sliced bread it was hitting good y'all that chicken was hitting good that cold chicken and that sliced bread light bread loaf bread was hitting good y'all real good back then we had a cooler for the solas but now we got the season passes and the food passes and all of that so and but see y'all the way we get them is we be smart about it like when tax time come and everybody's spending their tax money on different things like that we buy our season passes we use our tax refunds to get our season fat passes so we can enjoy stuff throughout the year so that's how we get our season passes and our food passes and everything is we buy stuff at um tax time applications and stuff we go on we pay for those with the tax refunds and we schedule for later on during the year but we pay for all that stuff during tax refund time paid up cash paid in full and just so when the time come we good to go so it's not like we got a lot of money and we spending all this money going to these places we use that tax refund and um pay for what what we're gonna do for the year smart huh haha -ha, think about that thing use that tax refund and not you know just wasting it but most of the time you get a tax refund you just go back start buying a lot of clothes that you don't really need and doing a lot of stuff that you don't really need you know think about family time vacations you know stuff you want to do and take some of that money if not all of it some of it pay for your vacation for later on for the summer or whatever but that's what we do we take our tax refunds we do pay some bills get some bills caught up if we're behind in anything we do that and then we pay for our um, vacations and buy our season passes. Season passes and then the, and the vacation. With season passes, you can vacate anytime. You can go like to the parks and stuff. And with, for the big vacation, like the week vacation or whatever, we pay for that ahead of time too. So that's my tip now. Use your tax refund for vacation and season passes. And we even get like our Sam Club season, our Sam Club yearly pass, and all of that kind of stuff. We just use the tax refund for the get stuff for throughout the year. Then next year when we get the tax refund, we do store it all over again. We buy a season pass for the year. We pay for our vacation for that year. Renew our cards and everything for that year. You know, we just use that lump sum of money and get things done. Right, babe? That's right. Yep. And it was his idea. <laughs> he came up with it so and that's what we do and we are in another traffic jam y'all i was already planning florida vacation for next year yeah yep off season though we're going to summer yeah around march yep so we are planning to go back to florida again guys have y'all seen my uh, um series of florida vacation videos if not Y'all hop back on out my page and stroll through my videos and find all our Florida vacation ones. And I did a really good one of the hotel that we stayed at. I'm pretty sure that's the hotel we're going to stay at again. 
No. No, we're not. We're staying on property. Okay. Well, we're not. Okay. Hubby has changed that. Well, you did like the hotel, though. Oh, yeah, I liked it. But I, I don't want to drive. I want to stay on property so I can just get on with the the little sky ride thing yeah. okay so this time we'll go to florida we're gonna stay on property so we can just get in that little sky ride thing and just sky ride over to the parks so like if you get tired because we were really exhausted yeah we can go back to the room yeah like about. we were really exhausted so we have to travel like hubby said yeah, if the girls want to stay they can stay out there well tomorrow she probably won't go because she just started her new job but i know sean probably will want to go mm -hmm. So they can stay out there while we are doing our thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we can go back, take the little ride back to the room, rest up a little bit, and then we can go back to the park again. Whether then the other time we'd have had to go to the park, leave, drive back to the hotel, then come back to the park. But on property, it's more convenient. Okay. So we're gonna do that this this time and stay on property. I think um Lil Z said he wanna go, so we're gonna Might see see if Lil Z wanna go with us this time. Is he um, gonna be alright? Yeah, I don't know. He's not used to being away from home for no more than a day or two, I guess. But we're gonna be going for like a whole week. Mm -hmm. So I gotta really talk to make sure that he's gonna be good with us being gone for a week because we can't just turn around and take him back home. <laughs> so we gotta check out with him for to make sure that that's really what he want to be doing too so I will hop back on guys once we get a little bit closer to the restaurant I actually get to the restaurant we made it y'all we are here at the Mayflower we are here So I will record some more as soon as we get um, to our table. If it's not a lot of loud music in there. If it's, a, if it's loud music, I'm not gonna do it cause of copyright and stuff, but I will let you guys see our food in the menu and stuff like that. This is the menu. It's a nice, cozy little restaurant. Are y'all ready? Do y'all need a few minutes? A few minutes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. But it's a nice, cozy little place. We like it here. So now we're gonna look at these menus and make a decision. Our food have arrived. Hubby got the fried trout fillets, jumbo shrimp, loaded baked potato with coleslaw. And I got the same thing, except for I got french fries and coleslaw. And these are their hush puppies made like onion rings. And we got all our compliments, condiments over here. And I got water, he got spray. And we about to crush. Anything you want to say before you go in? Nope. Huh? Nope. Look nope. good. <laughs> all right, y'all, we going to crush. <laughs> we'll be back with you later. We're about to head home. And as you can see, I got in about a whole meal that I'm taking home with me. The fish was so long mm -hmm. that I had to break it in half to get it into the box. Oh, and this is what hubby got me. Nothing. <laughs> it is still something. But I got a whole slap piece of fish. She wasn't three, ready. I no, I wasn't ready, y'all. <laughs> like hubby said, I got three hush puppies, a whole piece of fish, one, two, three, four, five, five jumbo shrimp, and french fries i did finish though the coleslaw y'all i finished the little coleslaw i ate one 
whole piece of fish and a couple of shrimp, I guess. I don't know. But like Hubby said, I wasn't ready, y'all. I wasn't ready. I think I put it in my box upside down, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's upside down, but don't matter. I can just flip it over because. Flip it over, y'all. There you go. Let's see what it looks like this. Since I flipped it over. Just put the fish on top. Okay. I put it in backwards. Put it in backwards. Put it in backwards. Put it in backwards. But I guess we get ready. Bounce bake. Mm -hmm. Tell the people what we're going to do. We're going to bounce. <laughs> yeah, we get ready to bounce. We're going to bounce like a ball. We're going to bounce like a ball, hubby said. Mm -hmm. So we're going to um get ready to get out of here. Get back on the road. No, I'm going to see what stores they got. Walk through some stores. Okay. Hubby said we're going to walk through some stores, y'all. So I'll let y'all see what stores we go in because we get ready to bounce on up out of here now gotta walk the food down <laughs> hey everybody this is day two of um date day as i told y'all yesterday after we left the um mayflower restaurant we was gonna do score some stores but we didn't we just you know just riding around going through the shopping center but um today we did actually go to king's dominion here's our look King's Dominion cup. We went to King's Dominion, but it was just so hot and muggy out there that I didn't even take the camera out to do any videoing. But we are in the car now and we're headed back home. So I just wanted to use this time to actually close out my video. <laughs> <laughs> but we did have a good day today. You, had a, you enjoyed yourself? Yeah, I enjoyed myself. All right, we had a good day today. Um, we went had church service this morning. We left straight from church, went home, changed our clothes, and then shot down here to um, King's Dominion. But it was just so hot and muggy, and we were sweaty and stuff. I didn't even take the camera out to do any video. And all we did was, we didn't ride anything. We just rode around and just enjoyed ourselves. That's it. I mean, rode around, <laughs> walked around, <laughs> and just enjoyed ourselves, conversated, and that was it. And we did get um, something to drink with our King's Dominion Cups. So, that's it, guys. So, drop a comment if you enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this with us just conversating with you guys, just let me know. Um, I think that's about it. Um, I will see you guys on my next video. Um, give thanks. Be blessed. Mwah. Love you tonight. Yeah. Love you to life. What in the world, y'all? I think the heat still got me because <laughs> I'm hot. But mwah, love you to life. See you on our next video.